Could have thought of another way to get us here. Here we go again, Junior. Previously on Puma Plays. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, again, this game needs the fucking Valve thing where it needs to be playtested to shit so you have actual areas that make sense where plays naturally go, ah, so this is where I have to go. I would love it to just have a fucking gun. You remember when I, in the last episode where I said, hey, wouldn't it be fun to run these assholes over with go-karts? I still stand by that. I still want to do that. Again, it all made sense when it, when they were just had dead children inside of them. God, what a horribly designed game. Right, so in the last episode I was here in the weird circle dome thing with the weird, like, image of the pizzeria that... Look at this Mario 64 looking ass. Here we go! Where are the tables at? This is the place where I ran, where I ran past like three times. I mean, it does say emergency exit, but it's literally when you like when you go from here, you just kind of don't see it. Especially when you're in motion, you just kind of see like a weird blob there, and you know this doesn't just doesn't look like a thing, right? Mm-hmm. Looks like a prop door. Yeah, it looks like a prop door. And only when you actually go up to it does it see still nothing. See, see still nothing. Middle of the corridor, nothing. Then you go up to over to it. You found the fire escape. And suddenly it says something. Unfortunately, I do not think there is a way to reach it without becoming a VIP. It is not a very good emergency system. You are lucky there is not a fire. I have lodged a formal complaint. And I'm ch being chased by the thing. How small is this kid? That's what I've been asking myself. It's like you're the size of a head. Yep. Well, that's, that's pretty much what you are. Thing goes past and... I heard that. You think you're better than me? You're this was best. absolute fucking you balls. Will find <laughs> and it sniffs like an idiot because it thinks it has a working nose. So yeah, the task of this game is basically he listen to the background music here, listen to the thing, and there you go. Mm -hmm. Avoid the robots, and that's it. Get your engaging story. Don't be mm hmm. Get your mat paddle all ready. Free map. Free map. Oh, so this is the gimmick. Move! Gotcha! Okay, so this is the arbitrary point where the plot drops in, or what? I don't get it. Maybe. Where am I? Look at all this stuff. Freddy? Freddy, are you there? I'm trapped. I'll bet you think you're real clever, Gregory. Yeah, I know your name. You're in big trouble. This is not the night to be wasting my time. So. You are going to wait right there in Lost and Found until your parents or the police arrive. Are you having fun yet? No. Are you having fun, Daniel? Maybe. Oh no, my thing is overtaken by the VHS filter. Oh fuck, I'm here again. So this game actually adamantly just refuses to give you a story. Like, no character interaction or anything. Does this game thing... That just, like, as you little dialogue as possible, and, like, just these little snippets are, like, a competent arrive. story, or what? Because who needs characters talking when you can be wowed by visuals? Are you having fun yet? Freddy! Help! The rabbit lady's found me! If you 
get this message, come to the Roxy Raceway Waitress, second floor. I piled up some boxes so you could hop over the construction fence and find me. So what construction fence? My communication signal. Come to the Roxy Raceway. Oh, no. I can hear you. I'm on my way. Hmm. Don't you love this elevator loading screen? Yeah, so... Apparently in order to get like the real ending you have to you have to do all the mini games as usual. Mm-hmm. Boy am I looking forward to that, right? Mm-hmm. No fucking map markers or anything. Just, God damn. Says a bunch, a stack of boxes. Get over the construction fence. I am at the construction. I guess this is the third floor, so I gotta go. One thing down. You basically, go around these big ass empty places. Don't get spotted by the robots and just evade them, and that's literally all you do. Can I still. Have to question why the series is popular. The construction is this the construction? The Roxy Raceway is down there. Oh god damn it! Am I in an, in a fucking stupid location again? Again, I can't tell where the fuck I'm supposed to go. What about the big map behind you? Big map. No, it doesn't help. No, it doesn't fucking help. Look at this. No labels either. Like, like you would expect on a real map. Yeah, it's just, it's so weird because, like, you'd expect. You'd like, like, I don't know. It's just. I can't tell if this is just incompetence or deliberate. You know, deliberate obfuscation. Mm hmm. No, but then I remember, oh wait, they fucking dropped a 5 gig patch for some minor fixes. And it's like, what? I think it says a lot about the developers. It says a lot about our society. Is this the fucking thing with the closed fucking door? I can't, I can't help but just go over these fucking points. Again, this is like the thing where you're supposed to play it like a bajillion times to get the rhythm I guess you know to get good because again I guess the developers really were just so much in love with the original formula for n for a reason I can't discern uh -huh. you know this idea of like do all this like up, up, obtuse bullshit and then just bleh. there's your thing there's your like, fun little experience, and then MatPat will tell you how about steep. And if you don't believe me, get ready for one last piece of evidence. Hi, I'm Andy Wachowski. And I'm Larry Wachowski. You kick ass. Yes, we salute your excellence on the gaming field. And with that, we can definitely conclude that the Wachowskis our purple guy. I spit on my monitor. But mother blooming, damn it. Wait. So the whole Roxy Raceway thing is under construction, meaning my whole idea about, like, driving over these is wholly impossible. Of driving over these things with... Am I stuck? Am I just stuck? <laughs> I think I've just... No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, that's a huge ass disappointment. I mean, Wait, I didn't. Are you? And I was kind of joking about it, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping that would be true. Game over! <laughs> there you are. I was so worried. I waited and waited for you. 
I missed the hourly recharge and have been trying to get down to parts and service. I think something is wrong. Is there anything I can do? Help me. Get to parts and service. Of course I will. How do we get there? It is down under the main stage. Normally the stage lift takes me down there after every concert. That is really the only way I know how. Use that door behind me, Mimi. It will take you to the rehearsal room on the other side of the building. Look for a backstage pass, then find a way to turn on the lift. Good luck, Superstar. Entering rest mode. Okay, I'll do my best. Don't you feel sorry for this robot that's definitely gonna fucking betray you? You don't know that. This is a complete reboot. It could... It couldn't possibly reuse that. Also, something I found out about this game... Apparently, the... <coughs> apparently, the voice actress that voices Gregory and the fucking wolf thing... Apparently, she's Slovakian. Well, not, Slovenian? Mm -hmm. That thing is kind of impressive. It's like, oh, that's pretty good. I can not tell. Hmm. You know what this sometimes- you know what this really reminds me of now? Mm. This kind of reminds me of, um... This reminds me just of all the boring parts from like the Source game. Mm. You know what I mean? Like the weird physics puzzles. But even those aren't here. It's just, you know, the feeling of doing those physics puzzles in Half-Life 2. Mm -hmm. Just- but just make that an entire game. Also, you can just pick up these random pieces of merch. I don't know why. So you can customize your avatar? No, but you literally can't see the avatar. No, though, but you gotta customize it. I think this is literally just... Oh, it's not. You know what I mean? Like, it has a giant glowing thing behind it. So I think, like, oh, so this must be the thing. It's like, no. Mm-hmm. Like it, that's that's what really just annoys me. It's like you're better than me. Flashlight. Oh, close and structure. Re <sighs> Rage game. Uh, God, fucking cr look at this fucking glitching bullshit. Yeah, the best way you can really just. What the fuck was that? Searching. He can't hide forever. Oh my fucking god, this is stupid. You think you're better than me? This is so not fun. Who who made the who made a game like this deciding it would be fun? That's the problem with like the stealth gameplay where it's like Oh shit, like there's no dependability on anything because everything is the like, glitchy and fucking bad. But, like the most important thing you need for a stealth gameplay is just not here. You know, that is like consistent behavior. Of getting a feel for how Nobody. the AI behaves and like what what it's choosing and stuff like that. Yeah, it's still no way this again like way this made a splash. I think it's literally just because this thing I has a fandom. A backstage pass around here and it got popular by a streaming and let's plays. Yeah. Just the idea that a place like this only has like one security guard because get it, security guard. That's the thing from the FNAF thing, right? Yeah. Well, knowing my experience with security, usually security jobs have high turnover rates and sometimes they can't find people to replace them so yeah that's actually more it's more realistic than you might think oh really but do you think that's that's because they know about the stuff or because it's just easier to have, to just you know tell like a story with like as few characters as possible because we're because we have a limited fucking budget i feel like 
I don't know. I think it's more of the scale's way too big to justify one security guard. Yeah. Because look how big this place is. Like, I feel like this should have just been a mall. Yeah. With a pizza place attached to it, and you're locking the mall. Yeah, but no, though. Because, like, for a pizzeria, this feels like a lot of wasted space. Yeah. Even for a big makeup place. Because, like, you know, I've been to those places where you have, like, really big bowling alleys. It has, like, a big bowling alley. It's got a fucking golf course. It's got a roller rink. Stuff like that. But that is a lot of, like, you know, every space is accounted for. Here's just a lot of wasted space because we're video games and we can make infinite. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't even feel like a real location because at least, like, the first one felt like a actual pizzeria that yeah. you might, might have gone to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, here it ironically has the problem of, like, it looks... Yeah, it's, it's too big and too grand a scale. That's this is kind of why I thought initially when I was... Oh my fucking god. When I was first in this location here, I thought this might have been like some kind of weird commentary on like how weird and bloated FNAF has become. How self-obsessed it is. But it's like shitty OCs. But then I realized now it's five minutes at Freddy's. You know, they can't possibly be that self-aware. This is what makes making videos about this game extremely difficult because it's like I, I have to trudge through these fucking locations and I'm like, like how am I supposed to make this entertaining? I can't. All this fucking art just feels like, well first of all the different art styles are clashing and weird. Then you have like, look at the, look at this fucking thing. Come on out. Look at the fucking pixelation on that shit. Versus here, it's like way smoother. And it's like, this is embarrassing, like look at this. And you know, it's like literally being trapped in fur affinity, which is a fate worse than death. Find the lift controls in backstage office. Is that literally your mission log? Or is that your- Yeah, that's your mission log. It's terrible, right? Why is it so terribly optimized? Because, because this game is terribly optimized, that's why. Like, there should be like a main I objective, I... side objective, or at least something more primitive. No, just... no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Go fuck yourself, this game tells you to go fuck yourself. So it looks like you have your primary and then all the steps you've already done. Yeah, it, it's literally like, what it is. Like, loading dock under first floor and it's literally just all the... Yeah, and again, like, objective. no fucking... Telling me what the he how the hell I'm even going to get there. Like this, again, I can't even zoom in on anything. Like this makes me wish I was playing Bioshock. It's like at least you have a fucking quest arrow. Why do you have the notorious Bioshock arrow? Here you have nothing. I have to go run around. I have to try and make this entertaining. And like, this is this is where this is a mis this is a miserable experience. Oh, so this is a door. So you're just stumbling into the ship. No, it's the it's the Stanley Parable room. Oh, hey, look! Take the security badge to activate another shitty level. Wait, wait. The last time I did this, there was a fucking there was a save point. Is there a save point here? I need I need this fucking save point. There's no way I'm doing this without a save point. There's nothing on your map. No, as I've just established, there is no indication markers or anything here. That map could be colored better. It's like I'm looking at fucking GTA 4's map. Yeah. Right. All these icons are so close to the same color that they're not different from what's going on. Yeah. Management report. With Bonnie out of commission, we are making Monty the new base player. Parts and services has already done the proper adjustments. This could be a good thing. Monty could be even more popular than Bonnie. Remember how cool like the, the Bioshock audio diaries were? Like I even remember that fucking Su Chong thing in that um what was it like a clothing store at the beginning? Where it's like why is this here? But it's like at least it gave you some cool lore. Here it's like the opposite problem. It's like I'm going through this entire place and I'm only getting garbage. I'm only getting dog shit. That's the one claimed why why did you reopen? Everyone remembers what happened to those kids. Oh no, something happened to those kids, so I are you saying it slows that children inside of the robots? I don't think there's a way for me to save. God damn it. 
Take the security badge, do this shitty There's thing. There's something else in here. What's this? It looks... old. Gregory? What did you do? Something happened. I can communicate again. I think you fixed my signal. Thank you. I can see you on the monitor. I didn't think you could stand up. Consider it a second wind. Freddy, I see Roxy and Monty on the cameras. They're both coming to the office. Do not let them in. The security doors are equipped with electrical deterrents. If you see them banging on the doors, hit the appropriate button. The shock should stun them. Okay, but how do I get out of here? Probably standing right on top. Oh, so this is the meme. Ben. I should be able to force it open and let you out. All the doors appear to be on lockdown. <laughs> Look for me on the monitors. If you see me waving, push the button in front of the corresponding monitor to open the door. Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? There you are. See you soon. Hurry, Gregory! I cannot stop her! Over here! <laughs> Oh. There, look at this. Look at this little thing that I barely saw. Oh. Okay, I gotta be honest, this one is not as terrible as the last one. You <laughs> Gotta vent, Gregory. Jump down! Freddy, you saved me! I'm so sorry. I couldn't find any lift controls. All I found was this disc thing. Follow me to the atrium. That is a program disc for the stage show. If you use it in the sound booth, you should be able to run a showtime program. Okay. Found this disc thing, cause get it, I'm a t I'm a I'm a I'm a fucking Gen Z yeah. That doesn't understand what a CD is. Which will activate the lift. I just, I just want to say, like the reason I'm playing this is literally because I'm of the opinion that you can only appreciate good games after you've played some truly terrible ones, and I feel like this game counts. Systems are failing. Mm -hmm. Go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Run the performance program on that disc. Then meet me back on the stage. Please hurry. You do not have much time. It is almost the end of the hour. Freddy said the booth is on the third floor. <sighs> yeah. I know. Get it to Godfather reference, you motherfucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's all just generic coin ops, like one stick in the middle, it's like, it's really lame. <laughs> yeah. Like you, can't, you can't do anything with it, obviously, but you know, still. That should do it. I hope Freddy's okay. I should get back to the stage right away. Back to the stage right away. Back to the stage right away. This took me 30 minutes to do. Yes. Walking down some escalators took me 30 minutes. Don't fucking ask me how. Remember, this is supposed to be, I guess, a high point of tension. Are you? you think you're better than me? <laughs> and now I'm using stupid cameras over here, or... Okay, so she's just there, standing in front of the thing, and she doesn't move. Nobody will miss. Okay. Nope. Love how when you close this thing, just the entire screen glitches.
Now the chicken is down here. How the fuck did the chicken make it down there? It's gonna scream at me before I can get there, or already not. Great job, superstar. Yeah. What did I say? It's like it actively wouldn't have this. God fucking damn it! And in the end, I only got past it via exploit. Can I, just, can I just go to the side or not? Nope, doesn't look like it. Mm, is she maybe there in the very front? No. No, look at this shit. And look, I can't even climb over anything because it's not like I'm a kid or anything. Mm -hmm. Kids can't climb. No. Oh! I actually did it! I actually fucking... Yes! She did exploit the level geometry. Great job, superstar. Just push that button. The lift will take us down to parts and service. Oh no! What time is it? That moon thing's gonna get me! There! On the wall! Quickly, get to... What now? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh god fucking damn it. Hi, please take this map. Take a map. Thank you. Please uh, enjoy. I hate that thing! Just because you acknowledge it does not make it funny. Not again! I piss off. Piss off 1960s musical. society.